Hi there, I'm Zara, one of the Maddie's Miracle Breastfeeding Counsellors, and I want to talk to you today about how to store your express breast milk. Now, underneath this video, there are going to be some links to really good um, information that will go into more detail for you. But in really, really simple terms, when you express breast milk, you can leave it out at room temperature for up to six hours. You can leave it in the fridge for up to six days and you can leave it in a freezer for up to six months. Um, when you freeze it, ideally it will be in small portions because then there is less chance of waste and it also takes less time to defrost. So when you take it out of the freezer, if you're going to use it for the next day, you can put it into the fridge and it takes around about 12 hours to defrost. It can then be kept for a further 24 hours before you feed it to your baby. You can also help to defrost it by running it under water up to a temperature of 37 degrees. Um, and then if it is thawed that way and left at room temperature, it should be fed to the baby within two hours. After you've had your baby, if they don't latch and have a feed within two hours, it can be really helpful to hand express from the breast to stimulate them. Pumping is very personal and there are going to be all sorts of things that feed into the reasons why you are expressing. So that, to some extent, um, will determine how you're going to go about expressing your milk. Hand expressing can work for some women and they don't need to use other equipment at all. And for others, they will choose to use a pump. Now we have manual pumps that of course don't need a power supply, which can be really useful if you're out and about. Then we have electric pumps. You can have single or double varieties, depending on the amount that you want to collect. And then the top of the range electric pumps are hospital grade pumps and they can be hired and are particularly useful. For example, if you have premature babies or your baby is um, unwell in NICU or they just simply are not sucking and you really, really want to maintain a supply of milk. Expressing also should be comfortable, just like breastfeeding. If there's discomfort, it's your body's way of saying maybe there's something not quite right. So it could be that the flange you're using isn't the right size and that can create friction on the nipple. So do make sure that you research properly and get a flange that fits comfortably and well. For many, many women, they find that they have uh, a greatest volume of milk in the morning and that volume decreases as the day progresses. So it might be that you find it easier to express your milk in the morning. We also have to consider when you are going to feed that milk to a baby. Um, there's some evidence uh, to show that pumped milk that's going to be fed overnight um, would uh, be beneficial to be pumped at night as well because it has the right hormonal mix that supports uh, an infant sleeping at night.